How you doing, bub? Welcome to the malware. I'm Matt. Sorry for blinding you at the beginning of this video, but I just wanted to give you a little history lesson on uh, a crazy guy who thought the video games caused mass shootings. <laughs> this guy, Jack Thompson, um, he, back in 1997, as we see right down here, uh, filed a lawsuit on behalf of the parents of three students that died in the 97 he high school shooting, which eventually, you know, he, he went into Columbine. He, he, all throughout the late 90s, early 2000s, Jack Thompson decided to uh, make video games the biggest uh, scapegoat to all these things. Uh, you know, blaming Doom, Quake, Wolfenstein, Redneck Rampage, that's a, that's a fucking game, Resident Evil, blaming all these on a sick person doing a school shooting. Just like Columbine, just like, man, he's blaming Grand Theft Auto. Crazy guy. Thinking that video games, which there's countless, countless studies that video games don't do this. But and anyway, shall we continue on to the newest Jack Thompson? And that would be uh, Grums. Is that, is that better for you? It's a little, little less bright. Grums. Um, did you think this one through, Activision Call of Duty? We just started Pride. And we already have the worst virtue signal of the year. If the news media actually covered what was happening with mass shootings, they would know. But they either don't know or don't care. Uh, look, Call of Duty, they put in trans bullets. There's plenty of jokes we can make on that. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's, I mean, silly. But, Grums thinks that this leads to mass shootings. It doesn't say it in this post. How about we go over here? For those asking, Activision Call of Duty and Daniel Defense, this is, I think, the person um, actually suing, or, or, or defending, I should say, are being sued by Uvalde family lawyers in a ridiculous case that claims the branded weapons and video game rec recklessly encouraged the violence. Somehow... Like, years after Uvalde, maybe a year, I have actually, sorry, I zoned when it actually happened, but they, if they win such a ludicrous, ludicrous claim, they will put Daniel Defense out of business and her video games and the Second Amendment. It was irresponsible for Call of Duty to celebrate pride by putting a bunch of trans stuff in it. Yeah, okay. Look at this screenshot. Now suing... Why is Mark Zuckerberg on this? Why is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 Ghosts? What, what is this screenshot? Uh, utter, utter ridiculous nonsense. <laughs> Just such a dumb screenshot. I, I can't even. Uh, unfortunately, a bit wrong. So they can't. The Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act. It's a U.S. law passed in 2005 that protects manufacturers from this exact thing. Oh, unfortunately, a bit wrong. They found a legal loophole, and Sandy Hook used it to successfully put Remington out of business. There's a whole history behind Remington losing business. It's a lot of their own fault. Uh, they settled. Remington settled in this uh, lawsuit that he's talking about. But this is the danger. Activision is at real risk. So is Daniel Defense. Not that I care about Activision, but this will hurt all of gaming. I really disagree with that. He's coming at this at thinking that somehow these trans bullets are going to mess everything up. I just, I don't get it. People don't understand business. Remington is the brand. It's still around, just like Atari, but the lawsuit finished them off as a business, and they had to raise money to pay the judgment. So they sold the company at a fire sale to multiple different companies. It's not because of the lawsuit, though. It's their own choice. Um, and now, so he goes on to continue and say, Colorado Spring Shooter, trans. Denver Shooter, trans. Aberdeen Shooter, trans. Nashville Shooter, trans. Look, somehow he's saying that trans bullets, which are stupid, caused mass shooting. Look, look, Jack, a grump, sorry. Uh, that's not how it works. 
a skin in the game is not going to cause violence. It's not. It might cause a couple tea bags, but that, I mean that's in the game. And uh, I can confirm this is an actual Activision internal email just sent out. So I can't, I can't see this because some some punk guy, yellow flash guy. I'll say the name. <laughs> we're not we're not playing pathetic games. Yellow Flash blocked me for not liking a comic book. Um. Anyway, did you think this through Activision Call of Duty? We just started Cry. I can't believe Grums really thinks. Imagine defending trans bullets for Activision and Call of Duty at all costs when this is the recent history of mass shootings. Just, just. Ugh, it's killing me. It's just killing me, dude. <laughs> I want to take one of these trans bullets and shove it up my own. Anyway, that's a good place to end the video. <laughs> what do you think of Grums? Because he's really got some yellow flash takes, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> take it easy. Oh, this, this freaking guy.